Good evening, everybody. My name is Mossi. I'm from Dunders Institute, and today, I, and today I'm trying. Uh, I will present a method. Hopefully, in near future, can be used to model healthy human brain. Okay. So, diagnostic and statistical manual for mental disorders, since its, its introduction in 1952, is a gold standard for diagnosing treatment and. Uh, uh, stratification of mental disorders, but it has been recent, recently under heavy criticisms because it only relies on the symptoms and uh, uh, oversees the biological underpinning of mental disorders. Such a criticism just derived a, a new movement in the community toward developing a new standards for, uh, or new classification a, a scheme in a psychiatry called Research Domain Criteria, or in short, RDOC, and in our dog, the, uh, the mental disorders are biological disorders. Therefore, their symptoms should be studied in relation to the biology and uh, environmental factors. Such a uh, huge, I can say, rev and revolutionary paradigm shift in the community brought huge opportunities for the computational approaches to be applied in the, in, in, in the domain of psych psychiatry, and hopefully a new development for personalized diagnosis and treatment of mental disorders or precision psychiatry, where the goal is to find the right treatment at the right time for the right patient. So what uh, we are trying to present here is actually a very, we try to take a very tiny step toward uh, precision psychiatry, where we apply a kind of a old school but uh, recently visited approach called normative modeling uh, in order to learn the, the, the norm of the population in the behavioral and biological uh, variable space. So it is compatible with the RDOC and it is unsupervised. So once we have this model of the norm of the, uh, norm of the population, or we can say the model of the healthy population, any large deviation from this uh, norm can be considered as an anomaly and can be studied as a, uh, uh, in relation to, to, the, to the mental disorders. In order to learn the, the norm of the population, we actually use a, a newly in introduced method called the neural processes. Uh, where uh, it uh, actually enables us not only learn the norm of the uh, population, but also the distribution of uh, not only this function, but also the distribution of these functions. So it enable, enables us also to estimate both sources of uncertainty in, uh, of the model, like allotric uncertainty and epistemic uncertainty. This neural process actually brings the, advantage of, uh, the advantage, advantages of uh, a neural network theory, including, for example, re representation learning, with the, probabilistic, with the advantage of probabilistic approach, such as uh, Gaussian processes, all under the same uh, umbrella. We, of course, test this method on a clinical population, including schizophrenia, ADHD, and uh, bipolar disorders. And we show that our model can work even better than some uh, supervised approach, such as SVM. So if you are interested more to know what is normative modeling, why normative modeling, and how we can actually model different sources of heterogeneity in neuroimaging data, how we can use the neural processes for mixed effect modeling on the MRI data, uh, you can just come and visit our poster at uh, tomorrow evening, poster FT1. Thank you very much. So, all right, we very good on time. So, we let's thank all the speakers of the session uh, for their work and keeping the time as well. Mm -hmm.